tonight at 7.30. Are you free for an hour of the British at their outrageous best in Are You Being Served? At 8.30, in the tradition of Inspector Morse, the Ruth Rendell Mysteries with Inspector Wexford, followed by 10 Eyewitness News. This is the 10 Eyewitness News with Mal Walden and Joe Pearson. A mid-air plane tragedy spills its wreckage onto a New Zealand motorway. First at five, dramatic on-the-spot pictures. A father accused with his wife of a $5,000 plot to murder their teenage daughter. And Madonna Madness stepping into the MCG for a night of raunchy rock. Good evening, also first at five, a backlash over video nasties in the wake of a toddler's murder. And a Kiwi trickster weaves his magic in the Australian Open. But first, this Friday, a mid-air collision between a police helicopter and a light plane over Auckland claims four lives. The chopper and the plane crashed onto a busy motorway, causing traffic chaos. These pictures just in. Eyewitnesses say the helicopter crashed into the plane over the crowded motorway. The helicopter belonged to the New Zealand Police Force. It's believed the plane may have been another police aircraft. Witnesses gave a graphic account of the crash. I saw the, just saw the helicopter and plane collide, and um, one of the wings just got broken off the plane, and, and they both just plummeted and um, just dived straight down. And there was just a massive explosion when they, when they hit, but there was a bigger explosion when they landed, and, and there was just... You know, you just, just this terror went through me, mate. I just broke out into a sweat and just shook. And um, there's nothing, you know, like you just, you just can't explain it. Oh, just, just so sudden, the way it happened, it was just so graphic too. A Broadmeadows couple has been accused of plotting to murder their teenage daughter. The Broadmeadows court heard that the couple believed the girl disgraced her Lebanese family by choosing an Australian boyfriend. It was also alleged that 40-year-old George Shukan chained his 17-year-old daughter to a bed and beat her with a hose. The Broadmeadows Magistrates Court heard 40-year-old George Shukan had been arrested after a three-week undercover police operation. Detective Senior Constable Neil Jarvey told the court Shukan first met with two undercover officers at his home where he told them he wanted to pay someone to murder his daughter, 17-year-old Rima Tawil. He also told them he wanted two ex-friends who had disgraced him in the community seriously hurt and he wanted one of them to have his back broken. At a second meeting, it was alleged Shukan told them to forget the assaults and concentrate on his daughter's murder. Detective Senior Constable Jarvey told the court Shukan instructed the undercover detectives to make his daughter's murder look like a drug overdose. He said Shukan paid them $1,000 cash and promised a further $4,000 after the murder, money he was arranging to loan from a bank. The court heard Shukan then gave the two men a photo of his daughter and arranged for his son to show them her home in Glenroy. Detective Jarvey said Shukan believed Rima had disgraced them by going out with an Australian man, not the man they'd arranged for her to marry. Rima's mother, Amal Tawil, was yesterday released on bail, also charged with conspiring to murder her daughter. Detective Jarvey said Rima had no idea of her parents' plan to kill her. He said Rima alleged her father had chained her to a bed in their home and beaten her with a length of hose, seriously bruising her arms and back. Magistrate Barry Ma said he considered Shukan an unacceptable risk and refused bail, remanding him to appear in court again next February. Jennifer Hansen, 10 News. There's been a backlash against horror videos as Britain searches for answers in the wake of the James Bulger murder and the life sentences on his schoolboy killers. The case has already split the church and the government in a damaging row over who's to blame. But there's alarm now with a death threat from an uncle of little James. New flowers today marked painful memories of the Bulger trial as politicians and churchmen blamed one another in their search for reasons for the murder. Feelings everywhere were running high today, nowhere more than in a phone-in on BBC Television's Good Morning with Anne and Nick program, when James Bulger's uncle, who was the one called to identify the child's body, threatened to kill the two boys. Looks to me like everyone's making excuses for them. And there is no excuses, Anne. They took the child, they battered them to death, and if they don't stay in jail forever, if they ever get old, we'll be waiting. And when we get old, we'll kill them. Why did they do it? You know, what? What, what was in their minds to do it? Well, obviously, we couldn't answer that question. 
um, at that time. I don't think we're in a position to answer it now. As people ask themselves whether they'd have intervened if they'd seen James and his abductors on their walk towards his murder, an eyewitness broke down and wept as she spoke on the radio today. I've heard people saying, why didn't someone do this and why didn't someone do that? But, you know, now the guilt, the guilt's there. I don't think I'll ever get this, this guilt. <laughs> I've seen them. I heard the baby crying. And I watch them. Oh, God, I watch them. I, I've got to look out this window every day. I see these kids. I go to bed and I see these kids. In the Commons, some MPs struggling to find any kind of action to express their revulsion turned on horror videos that might have influenced the boys. The children had watched cartoons in this video shop straight after the killing. A month before, John Venable's father had rented Child's Play 3, a mainstream 18-rated black comedy showing a demonic doll being battered to death. The Bulger trial judge surprised the police investigating the case when he suggested violent videos may have played a part in the case. The police said they had no evidence to suggest it. However, responding to criticism, Sky Television said it's dropping tomorrow night's planned screening of Child's Play 3, while another video chain said they were burning 10,000 copies. And the pressure to ban horror videos such as Child's Play is being felt in Australia. Already here, there are calls for tougher guidelines, as Tracy Spicer reports. The Child's Play series is available in most Australian video stores. While the federal government says it won't review video classifications, some groups have called for tougher guidelines. It seems to me some of the more graphic really should be banned because uh, right now they're still accessible one way or another to young kids and it seems to me that's having an awful, awful impact on these kids. Criminologists say there's no proof that watching violent videos causes violent behaviour, but there are areas of concern. We impose rules that keep young people away from alcohol until they're mature enough to, uh, to use it properly. We should perhaps be moving further along that line uh, with, with violence on videos. Tracy Spicer, 10 News. New revelations today about the Premier's family advertising agency, KNF. The opposition says documents prove Mr Kennett misled Parliament and it has renewed calls for him to stand aside. The Caruso reports a KNF client has confirmed government involvement with the agency, which could put pre the Premier in breach of the law. Premier Kennett has repeatedly claimed KNF isn't in the big league of agencies because it deliberately avoids lucrative government work.